Hi, and welcome to The Scoop. Today I'm joined by a near and dear family friend who has a long list of achievements to his name. He found and transformed a prospering family business into a billion dollar enterprise that has a presence in over 40 countries, making him one of Africa's leading industrialists. My thank uncle, thank you very much for coming. Thank I have you. to call you uncle because I've known you for so long. <laughs> thank you. Uh, let, let me start with this. My, my father had gone only for three standards of vernacular. Mm -hmm. And he found it so difficult because he couldn't speak, read, or write English. And so he found that if I want to have a future of my children different than mine, I must at least educate them. Was that the, the goal for you? I mean, was that all you were going to do was to go into the family business? Did you have some other dreams, maybe being, you know, being a, a singer or a musician or something else <laughs> different to, to, to running the family uh, business. I think that we had a good businesses once upon a time, but by 40s and during the war, we lost mm. quite a bit of them. Mm. Our parents had dreams. They lived their life for us to get, get us educated. What happens? Whatever happens, we will sit down and we'll make sure that we create well. What industries, what sectors should young people look at that are the future of this continent over the next two decades? Today in Kenya, there are more than four million Kenyans, secondary school level, up to the university graduate, pacing streets of Kenya. This worries me all the time. And I can't understand that why people don't look at this as a social problem. Neither the private sector can give 5 million jobs or 4 million jobs. Neither the government is capable of doing it. Let's make them volunteers first, so that they don't sit at home mm. doing nothing. Are you saying paid volunteers no, or no, free no, volunteers? Free volunteers I because... I wouldn't think that that would work. Yeah, that's, it works in many countries. Mm -hmm. It can work even today here. How about you? I mean, what next for you? I mean, you've done 85 years of amazing things. Next for me is a legacy. It's Chandaria Foundation is a good example. Can I create more Chandaria Foundations from mm. everyone that I meet? And the show is called The Scoop, Manuel. So, you know, you need to give me a scoop. Something well, about you that well, nobody else knows. Scoop to me, the way I see, understand English. Manuel, thank you so much for thank your time. You. I hope you enjoyed it half as much I, as I did. I, I, <laughs> no, 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 no. It was you're, fascinating, really you're, fascinating you're, story. You have been, been a role model. Your father was a role model for me. <laughs>